In this video, I'm going to help you to understand what is in Medellin architecture and how you can use it. Whether you are preparing for Fabric Data Engineering exam, Azure Data Engineering exam, Databricks or any other Data Engineering certification exam, this video is going to be very important for you. Consider this. Merillion architecture is a way of organizing your data. We all know that if we are not going to organize our data, we are not going to clean it up, then it would be really difficult to get insights out of data. There, Merillion architecture comes into place. Ideally, Merillion architecture has only three layers, as you can now see on your screen. There will be bronze layer, silver layer, and gold layer. You can have more than three layers. It doesn't necessarily you have to have the three layers, but that also depends on how your organization is going to process the data. For example, you have certain data sources that can be your real-time data, near real-time data, or they are providing actually the batch data. Once you bring those data sources on your data platform. So in order to bring the data, you have to bring this data using certain tools. In engineering, we call them ETL or ELT process. The very first layer is a branch layer. Branch layer purpose is mainly just to bring the data inside your platform or into your platform. This data will be the raw data. You are not going to modify this data and this data can be used for audit and other purposes. Now let's focus on the silver layer. In some organizations, the validated layer or the silver layer is directly used for data science, AI, ML use cases. However, most of the organization just use it. It's more like a data warehouse where all the different kinds of data that you can collect, but it is properly structured into the table formats and also this is known as curated layer where you just massage the data a little bit when you have to serve the data for different departments sales marketing hr etc in those cases you are going to need this data to further model it in the analytical data layer you are going to model the data in a format that is most compatible to your system which is going to be your front end for example microsoft power bi in Power BI, you always do the data modeling in star schema. And why so? Because this is the most compatible format with Microsoft Vertipack engine or Power BI engine, which is going to help it to process the data faster. Uh, it has to be always star schema. That may be Snowflake. But ideally, you are basically creating data marts over there. And that is your gold layer or presentation layer or analytical data layer. 